Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Don't mind the hair. I'm thinking I'm growing it out, but I definitely need to go get it cleaned up. So we're doing that. But I got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I'm super excited. Um, it literally is in no particular order. I just have a bunch of junk shoved over here, but I wanted to show you and I had some really fun new finds. So let's get started. Everybody has seen these at the Dollar Tree. They're great little foam kneeling mats. It may become a sit mat when I go backpacking. Since it's light enough, I can just stick it in my pack and when I stop, I can sit upon it. So this was one idea I have. The other idea I have for a sit pad, this is a um, car sunshade and it's made out of like Reflectix material that can be cut and then duct taped around the edges to fit. And this actually weighs less than this. So we may be going with this. I'm gonna open it up, see how big it is, if I'm able to cut it to fit. And if I could cut it on the outside here and keep these little straps, that would be perfect. But just get rid of some extra bulk that I don't need. I just need it big enough to sit on so if it's the ground is wet, my butt doesn't get wet and muddy. Especially at dinner time when we're sitting in the dirt cooking dinner. So I grabbed one of these for that. Oh, I got, <laughs> found one of these little Nerf clip-on dealy whoppies. It says blaster click charms, one surprise blaster charm. So we're gonna see which one we got. And if it does anything, it does nothing. Just so you know. I thought maybe it would be like a little mini Nerf, but it's like a rubber little clip on. I'll give it to my friend who has a little boy, but it's just a Nerf gun, like backpack clippy thingy. That's fun. I thought it would be like a little mini Nerf. No, I got bubs. The boys just had dinner. We're running a little late today. Um, okay, I picked up another pack of these. I really, I love having these on hand because of the size. They're very compact and this little plastic case holds them nicely and it keeps them from like roughing things up. They're not fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, like a couple uses, that's all you get. So I bought a refill pack. This one just has like, but first nails, nail boss, tough as nails. So these are the same size. So I have replacements. Instead of buying one for a dollar, I would prefer to buy three. I keep one in my purse and one in my car because when I get a chipped or broken nail, it makes me a little crazy until I get to a nail file. So these are like the perfect size for that. So I grabbed that, I was happy to see. I found in the home decor section, and I don't, this is Greenbrier. And somebody had asked why I mentioned if it's Greenbrier or not. And my initial response is, you know, I get a lot of questions. But the reason is, if this is a Greenbrier product, the chances are it's going to be in your store too. If it's not a Greenbrier product, like these Nerf, the little Nerf dealies, I don't know if it's at every store or if only certain stores get it. So I kind of like to give you an idea. Yes, this is a Greenbrier product. So you can look for it in your store too. Not to say that non-Greenbrier products won't be in your store, but just as a heads up. But these are little like bag clips, party clips, and they were all in nautical theme. I got the little seahorse. They had a sailboat and like a little starfish. I thought they were adorable, especially if you have like a summer barbecue. I think what would be adorable if you had like a summer beach theme cookout is put these, um, hang them like on a string or on a, you can attach the back to like a place, like a, a name place and put the food item or who sits there. Like there's definitely a way to DIY these little clips to utilize them. Or if you're just giving a gift, you can put it on the top of a bag. Oh, my nose. Guys, I am fried. One hour and a half in the sun. I know better. Sunblock, ladies and gentlemen. Sunblock. Um, I picked up the A&W root beer to try, just the drink mixes. I get these all the time. Nothing new there. Ooh, but this is new. And this is from, I don't know what brand, Athletic Wear by Expressions. And it's a hair dealie, like a hair, um, hold your hair back, which I wear under my helmet when I ride or when I exercise. But what is fantastic, if you can see the shine, 
it's rubber grippers. So it won't like instantly slide out of your hair. And I thought that was fantastic, especially under a helmet. When I wear like the elastics, which I do a lot, they end up sliding one way or the other. So I'm kind of hoping that this will not because it has two rows of rubber stretchy grip. And it's like what's sometimes it's on socks to keep them from sliding down, same concept. Not Greenbrier, uh, made in the USA, I guess, or just, oh, designed in the USA. So I'm gonna say probably made in China. Yep, made in China, designed in the USA, um, MA. And they had several different styles, but I think for my hair and the growing out period, if I do, I mean, you know, tomorrow I may decide I'm cutting it off. I don't know, but these are handy to have in the summertime when I am doing outdoorsy stuff. Um, I found these socks by the brand Human Knowledge. They are supposedly men's crew socks, but I'm going to tell you this does not look like a size for a man, but whatever. But look at the cat. Like what? And super nice, thick sock. 97% um, polyester, 3% spandex, machine wash, uh, light blue, one size, and it fits size men's six to 12. I wear a men's seven, because I wear a women's eight and a half or a nine. So I'm feeling these will fit me fine. And I love the color. Um, for me, this type of a sock is definitely wear around the house or in the winter. I'm not one to wear socks unless I absolutely, see, I just snagged my nail. Unless I absolutely have to wear socks. I'm not really a huge sock person, but I do love me some socks and these are nice and thick. So I grabbed a pair of those. Again, fabulous. If you've got a guy in your life or a lady that likes socks, perfect stocking stuffer. Just saying, it's time guys. It's time. I need to pull this over. Ooh, I found these metallic markers that write on black paper and I am obsessed with writing on black paper. So I grabbed four of these and I'll try them out. Hiccups. I thought about saving them until next year, but I'm not going to do that. So I decided to use them now and you get a green, like a purple, a different color purple and a teal. So they're both shades of green and purple, but I think they're great. Um, that's the ink brand. Sweetie, can I help you? That's not for you. Okay, fun find of the day, guys. So I, I have a backpacking trip plan. We've talked about that a million times, but I also love to fly. What I hate is carrying an air pillow. I love having it on the plane, but I hate dealing with it because they're so big and bulky. I'm sorry, what Dollar Tree? What? 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 You're selling airline pillows now? So I bought two. First of all, I thought it would be cutting me on the inside. Uh-uh. They have like a little, and it's inflatable, just like a blow up raft. Is it huge? Absolutely not. But I typically wear them this way. Now this is what I look like on an airplane. It's perfect. I may even use it as my pillow backpacking, which is why I bought two because it will probably get blow, broken on them, but it's a dollar. And to use it as a regular pillow, take a buff and wrap, put the buff on it and it fills in this little spot. But I think this will be perfect in the airplane I just need something because I end up falling asleep like this and it hurts my neck. But I think this would be perfect and for a dollar. And then, I'm taking it out. I mean, it's a dollar, guys. If it lasts two flights, I'm okay with that. Heck, if it lasts, okay, two flights, I would like to get home. And then you squeeze it and get all the air out. You definitely have to hold it. And then if you get it down, I'm just squeezing out the air while we talk. You wanna get all the air out of it. And look how small. Put the lid back on. And then it just, it's flat, guys. Fold this thing in half. 
and slip it down in your backpack or your tur you know, whatever carry-on you have. And that is literally all the space that's gonna take up. The big old nice ones take up a lot of room. I trust me, I've used one and it was just a pain in the neck, <laughs> literally. So yeah, I'm excited. So I grabbed two um, because at the time in the store, I didn't think it was appropriate to open it up and blow it up. But if I see them again, I may grab one for Sarah and then one just for a spare because I really feel like when we go to Ireland, it's a seven hour flight, I think six or seven out of New York and we still have to get to New York. So we're look usually it takes us about 18 to 24 hours to get to Europe. And these are even just sitting in the airport, resting your head, because I get tired. I get tired. Read my book. Okay, so I grabbed that. Then I found, now this is the same brand, the Karazi, that did the stainless steel cleaner. It's a grill scrubber. What? Handy grip here, nice and soft. And this is very firm to clean your grill. You know, just scrub it. Grab two of them. I think this is going to be fantastic for my outdoor grill. And to go with it, I love this awesome cleaner. And this is grill and oven cleaner. And this is, fun fact, here's the second bottle. The first one broke open in my car. That was a mess. But this is 40 fluid ounces. And I feel like spray it on, let it sit, and rub it off. This awesome cleaner is great. Now, it's a little chemically, I'm not gonna lie. I don't use it, the awesome brand for everything, but I think this will be fantastic to get my grill cleaned. So, I think I might be doing good in the grill cleaning department. Um, oh, and then I found these, which I just think are adorable. And it says, grill, eat, chill, repeat. And then this one says, cold drinks, good eats, and barbecue. Do I need to have these? No. Are they adorable? Yes. And if I decide to have a cookout, I mean, yeah, but what I'm thinking is making my own barbecue sauce or different sauces that are keto friendly and storing them in here in my fridge. I mean, they're a dollar. I'm sure they're not like the best quality, but they're adorable. If you have a cookout, I just think these would be fun. Especially now with the socially distance, like graduations coming up, have it outside. Don't let people come close to you and squirt some mustard at them. I don't know. I thought they were cute. So I said, yeah, I'm going to need that for my party of one. One. That's me. I found this cute little container. Um, it's just black with a little gold lid. It has the gold coming off up here, which you really can't see because of the glare right there, the white spot. However, my plan is to attach like a bead of some sort and maybe spray paint these different colors. I don't mind black and gold, but it doesn't really go with my decor. Um, but if it does go with your decor, these are fantastic. And if you had more of like a modern flair, you could put some of the little um, sticker garlandy, glittery, beady thingies on there. That would be pretty. For me, I'm thinking I'm going to tone it down a little bit and I'm going to put a bead up here and with some glue. So I didn't care that the gold was rubbing off. And I just think this would be a cute little trinket jar for like behind me or my mantle to your tray situation. Heck, am I bathroom i don't know but i liked it and i bought it because it was a dollar and i i'm sorry let me just go back to this for a second i like that they finally put the lid the lip on the lid so it doesn't just slide off that's also a good thing so i grabbed that um i grabbed the eyeglass thing not that i plan on using it for my eyeglasses but I thought it would be neat to hold a mask. There is a way to connect these two together to put my mask on it, although it is super cute. And when I go to the beach, I don't think there's a problem. I do swim in my glasses because I can't see or my sunglasses. So I might attach these just in case my sunglasses fall off. They're prescription. You don't want to lose them. And I just thought this was nice. Um, there's a million things you can do with this. It's not elastic but it is a fabric which is pretty cool so I just grabbed one of those I think that I have a need in my life for it we will see we will see I know 
um, I found some more under eye masks. I don't need full face masks, but you know, everybody, everybody needs a little under eye action for the puffy. And I got two of these. These are okay brand, which is Korean. Um, there's gold. They're gold. I don't know if it's actual gold. It says it contains, um, oh, patch contour mask for under the eye. And they are gold. But I think these would be great, especially now, because can we please look? My sunburn is a little bizarre, guys, because of my glasses. So I think these will be perfect to um, help my eyeballs underneath. And then I'm putting moisturizer on my nose tonight. So I grabbed two. I don't need any more masks. I got plenty of those for now. No more masks. Uh, but I did get a... Uh, face cleaning kit. So this is a two purifying charcoal infused facial sponge four pack, um, four week beauty. And, but I think they're two different textures. If I read this properly, um, I think you have to read on the back, but there's two rougher and two smoother. I probably will use the two smoother and use it with a cleanser and it just takes off dead skin. And again, if I start peeling, that'll be great to help with that. So I thought somebody was outside. Nope. So I grabbed one of those. I don't need a lot of beauty product, but I like to show you. So I thought I would grab some things. Um, they had these little fun pit spigots. Ooh. Okay, we'll be careful with it. It does work. I mean, you fill it with water or iced coffee or whatever. I mean, it doesn't even tell you how much is in it, but I would guess 64 ounces if I had to guess. And that's, you know, the perfect amount of water for a day. So my thought is fill this up with water. And if you drink it all, you know, or I may just put iced tea in here or something to keep in my fridge. But I liked it. They came in red, white, and blue. They were with the 4th of July decor. But this is pretty cool. I could put my hibiscus tea in it too, which I love. So I just picked up one of those. And then for some outdoor, I got some of these mosquito uh, repellent coils. Somebody, it might have been Theoni that bought these or somebody else. But I think it was Theoni on Thrifty Divas that picked these up and said they work pretty well. And um, I definitely, definitely get mosquito bites a lot. So, and this comes with four coils. So there's eight. I mean, I don't think I'll be outside in the early evening more than eight times. And if I am, I'll get other things. But I thought these would be great. Plus take them to the beach, take them on vacation. So each coil burns from five to seven hours. Outdoors, place one coil every 10 feet, use on patios and porches. And I, if I'm outside, I'm sitting on my back patio. So yeah, I thought that was great. I'm gonna try them, I've not tried these. Now I did see the, um, what looks like an incense stick, the big, big, big ones. They had those at my store too, but I thought I would try these this year. Oh, I did get one more item, and I feel like this is the same brand as this. Oh, this is the bath. Yeah, they're from the bathroom, which I think are Target. But this, I don't know how I'll be able to get it out. Yep, is an exfoliating back scrubber. Back scrubber. I just thought this was fantastic. Because, you know, you got to scrub your back and it's got a nice exfoliating feel to it. Oh, I love it. If you can't reach the bottoms of your feet, sit down and do this. Don't do it standing in the shower. But, yeah, you just kind of hold it on either side and do a little scrubby-dub, little scrubby-dub-dub action like that. Oh, I love it. That is awesome. And I feel like this could go right in the washing machine. Yeah, it's just nylon. I wouldn't put it in the dryer, but I would definitely put it in the washer and then I wouldn't have to replace it. So I thought that was fantastic. And I know it came in pink and this blue. So right now I'm pretty stocked up well in my bathroom, like sponges and things of that nature, exfoliating. I bought the boys a new toy they won't play with. I mean, they might, but I doubt it. But it's 
It's got crinkly on it. It's just like a piece of candy. Um, I don't think there's catnip in it, but they'll have fun, or at least I'll have fun throwing it at them and then them looking at me like, what am I supposed to do with that? That happens a lot around here. Um, you should see the toys they have, but when Luna comes, Luna is my niece Sarah's dog. She was here yesterday. She also has a bucket of toys over there and she knows right where they're at and goes and gets them as soon as she walks in the door. I found one more of these in a different color. So I had the hot pink and then I got this light purple and these are going part of my craft room organization. I feel like one of these is going to hold glitter because if we have any spills, it will contain it and glitter can get very messy. Or it could hold like my Cricut tools that Billy Joe sent me or it could hold pens and pencil. I mean, there's like a myriad of things, but I really like keeping my different um, crafting items stored together. It could also hold like knitting needles and crochet hooks. I mean, it's really endless what you can store in one of these. And this is a brand, it is Sterilite, good quality. It has a nice locking snap. And, or if you know you're getting ready for next year's back to school, hopefully your kids are going back to school. You know, got a little somebody that might like that, start it now. You know, it's never too soon to shop. If I'm shopping for Christmas, I could certainly be shopping for back to school. Um, I got some of these napkins. I love them. And this one has a rose gold flamingo. And then they had them in regular, you know, standard gold. And this rose gold. And they had the flamingo. And they had a pineapple. And they might have had something else. I don't remember. But I liked the rose gold flamingo. And that it's metallic embossed. And you get six dinner napkins. Which is great. Especially, again, going outside. When I go to the pool, if I bring a snack or I bring a drink, I usually throw a napkin in my bag. Just, you know, keep things from, from making a mess. I found some more L'Oreal product. And this is Longwear Dry Shampoo. Refreshes and extends style. Absorbs oil. And this is a 3.4 ounce container. The other stuff smells delicious. I'm not sure what this is going to smell like. Ooh, that smells good too. So some dry shampoo, I don't use it as dry shampoo. I do not have an oily scalp, but it does work good as like a texturizer because my hair is pretty fine up here. Not fine, thin. So if I spray my roots, it kind of helps thicken them up a little bit. That's what I use dry shampoo for. And then they have this air dry it uh, ruffled body mousse. Again, texture. For me, it's all about the texture and getting volume into my hair. And this is 8.3 ounces. And for, you know, honestly, I stopped couponing. So when I find name brand stuff there for a dollar, I'm all about it. I wish they had the L'Oreal Locket. That is my favorite, favorite um, hairspray. I just have a couple more things. I grabbed another canned air. These are fantastic, especially here in my home office because the cats are on my desk all the time. I use this to get their fur out of my keyboard. They're all the time I'm getting fur out of my keyboard and off my desk. So I grabbed another can. I think it's a great deal for a dollar. Yes, it's two ounces, but like a four or a six ounce can at Staples is like $8 online or on Amazon. So I don't know. I haven't gone into store to find it, but for a dollar, I'm on board. It's everything I need. Keep the dust, dust and debris. Um, in the section, I did find. These, oh, they're everything, right? Um, I got, I couldn't decide, so I just picked them both up. But this is the blue. Welcome, Fourth of July, or probably you know Memorial Day or something of that nature, and then the red. And the great thing is these are on little hooks. You can easily take these off and use just the truck. Like I'm thinking I could just put this truck in the middle of a wreath and, you know, do this, keep the welcome for something different. And because, oh, this is God bless America. And this is welcome. You can switch them up, switch them out, do anything that you want. Um, this wire is so thin. You could probably just snap it off and use 
the signs for one project and the trucks for another, but I just thought these were fantastic. Um, they are metal, which is neat, you know, something different. And they're not overly huge, so there's that. Grab those. And then the last things I picked up are very intriguing to me. Um, it, I got this four pack of mug cakes. Sarah loves mug cakes. And this is pumpkin spice cake with cream cheese icing. And you get four of those. So I told her this weekend I'll send those home with her. Actually, she, when she picks up her dog. Because I'm dog sitting next week. She's going on a little vacation. And then they have apple brown sugar cookies. Like what? So I'm making these and the molasses cookies um, for her, for her trip. So she's and her girlfriend are driving to see another friend. All three of them are vaccinated and they're socially distancing and they're going to get like an Airbnb and just meet up for the weekend. So I'm going to make these cookies for them and bag them up and they can have them for their trip. They can share them with each other and she'll enjoy that. The best buy date is September of 2021 and August of 2021. Now, we just went up in Amish country and they had molasses cookie moon pies. What? Like, I wouldn't give anything to not be diabetic in that moment and nosh on one of those, but was it? it's not in the cards for me, guys. But she'll enjoy them. So I'm making her the cookies. And what I do is I'll make up these batches. I'll make up both bags because I think this is probably going to get me two dozen cookies out of each. Um, it doesn't say 18, it says 18, but I use a scooper. So I bet I get like 24 and then I will freeze them this week. And then she can pick through and say, well, maybe she only wants half and half. I also made her some rookies. So she'll take what she wants and then take the rest home with her when she comes back. So I picked those up for her to make for her because I like baking for her and she likes it and they have like seven or eight nine I don't know how many hour drive but she'll drop the dog off on Thursday and Luna and I will have a long weekend together so that's everything I thought I did pretty darn good I'm not lying my favorite item has to be the headrest because well it was a dollar and it's gonna work I know it's gonna work I'm taking it probably backpacking for my sleeping pillow. Won't be ideal, but whatevs. All right, guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk with you later. Bye!